It was a very long day of fire making yesterday, but after a full night's sleep, I am fully refreshed and ready to go. I feel like we can finally play the game now, now that we have 99 fire making. And now that we finished that, I think the next like kind of short to medium term goal is going to be Barrow's Gloves and also unlocking forms of transportation, like easier access to law runes, the Arty Cloak 1, Fairy Ring, stuff like that. But also now that we're done with fire making, I don't have to worry about keeping hit points low when we start doing combat stuff. So the quests that I definitely want to get done today at least are the combat related quests like Waterfall, Tree Gnome Village, Fight Arena, Witch's House, quests like those. By the way, welcome back to another episode of the group Iron Man. If you're just getting into the series, make sure you start from episode 1 so you know what's going on, and you can always check out my Duo Teammates series, which is linked in every video description. I know this isn't a combat quest, but let's just go do fishing contests because we're here in Sears Village anyways. Oh yeah, I got this XP lamp last night too. I think we'll just put that to Herblore and no level. I just put the fire making cape into the bank for the first time. I think we're going to make this in to our uh, combat slash gear tab. So this is the very beginning of what will hopefully evolve over time to be something super sick. Yeah, man, can you believe we have fire cape already by day five? Fishing contest is complete. We get some fishing XP and we can now use this route to go under White Wolf Mountain. There actually is a safe route if you go around this way. I feel like a lot of people don't know about it, but there's no wolves on the outside here, like just a couple. Um, versus like having to run past all the wolves going through like this inner part of it. But we're just going to take the tunnel to go across because now we're going to go and do the witch's house. And that way we can actually get a decent hit points level which is going to be kind of really useful for all the other combat quests we're going to be doing. It's always really weird seeing like relatively modern machinery in the game. I guess it kind of makes sense because she's a witch so. Hey guys welcome back to my 17th hardcore that died to a DC. Today I'm going to teach you how to safe spot the witch's house experiment. To safe spot the witch's experiment at 10 HP you're going to walk under it and safe spot it. And congratulations, you did the Witch's House at 10 HP. And we get a bunch of hit points XP. We had 13 before, and now we are at level 25. And we hit 500 total level. Oh, dude, we're going to gain so many total levels. Today. I can't wait. So many quests to do that we've just been putting off. We're going to take advantage of the minigames teleports by teleporting the Fishing Trawler, and we can do the Fight Arena very close by. Fight Arena is done. We had, I think it was level 5 attack before. Let's see what we're at now. <laughs> 29. <laughs> Let me get some Thieving XP too some GP. And I think we're no longer magic based on the account, or I think it's kind of like balanced between magic and melee now. We also got a new collection log slot unlocked during the quest. We got the frog token. Bro, this quest helper plugin is actually insane. I'm really bad at the game, okay? I need the plugin to play the game for me. Normally when you would climb over this wall, you would be attacked four times and there's nothing you could do about it. So they would recommend you try and pray melee if you could, especially for low hit points. But apparently a few weeks ago, they made an update so that there isn't those four attacks that happen so we'll see if that's the case if we don't actually have like a stall where we get attacked four times and apparently no it didn't happen i'm pretty sure quite a lot of hardcores have died that way and the tree gnome village quest is complete went from 29 to 35 attack and more importantly we unlocked a new form of transportation we can now use the spirit trees this might be like the first real method of transportation that we've unlocked actually we don't have the arty cloak we don't have any teleport spells unlocked but we have spirit trees i totally forgot that ashes exist in the game now it's like bones, but they're dropped by demons and they give you prayer XP just like bones do. And here's the very first level up we've ever gotten for prayer level two. Look, I almost have a full extra set of beads. We're just gonna get the white bead though and then we're gonna dip. Although knowing like how the game works, she's probably gonna end up getting like all three of these before she gets a white one anyways, cause the game just knows. Another form of transportation unlocked with 25 magic, that is the Varrock teleport. Although we're gonna need like a decent source of law runes. I guess we could just go to the Wildy, especially because we're not hardcore, we could just go to Major Arena. But I wanna get the Ali Morrisane shop unlocked. Oh, no way, the upgrade. Oh my God, we finally got the white bead. It has been three days of fire striking imps. Check out the loot tracker. And we finally freaking got it. I'm just kidding, that's from when I was getting Zami Casey in my UIM. But we're done here now. I was thinking because Tower of Life is right here, we should just go do the quest right now. So let's get that done. That was a dumb joke because I've been uploading every day. So you guys obviously know it hasn't been three days. There is the Tower of Life quest done. We get some XP. Do we get any level ups? Crafting. And then we got the Builder's Outfit out of it, which when you have it equipped, it changes the Beck in the mode. Here it is without the outfit. And then here it is with the outfit on. And then we also unlock the Creature Creation 
Kitchen, which we're probably going to be using a lot for Red Spire's eggs, and we need it for some diary tasks too. I got the items to finish up Dwarf Cannon and to continue on with Waterfall, so we're going to go do both those quests at the same time, or a few minutes apart. There's completion of Dwarf Cannon, we got, I think that was three craft novels, and then someday in the future we can buy Cannon. Although, I don't know if it's really like worth the time making cannonballs on iron, but maybe we'll get cannonballs passively from Corp or something. Oh. Once we use Glirial's Urn on the Chalice here, watch the attack level, watch the strength level, 40 attack, 30 strength. Oh, it is so, so sweet to just see all those levels just happen at once. We're gonna head back to Lumbridge now and knock out some of these free-to-play quests. Lobby should be really fast to do. So we can give these three certificates from the dig site quest to the curator here, and he's going to give us a drink, the fruit blast that we need to start RFD. And there's a very important reason why we're about to start RFD right now. The RFD quest has now been started, the very first baby steps working towards Barrow's Clubs, but the main reason why we did this is because we can now use the bank. Oh wait, I, I can say it now. We can use the bank. Nice, there's the rusty sword that we need for the Arty Diary. Yo, someone lured the Dark Wizard into the bank and now he's killing all the noobs. I did this before with bots a long time ago, it's so funny. <laughs> I've been everywhere, noob. We're gonna finish up the Rune Mysteries quest and unlock everyone's favorite skill, not runecrafting, but runecraft. And then we'll teleport with him because that's a diary task. And there's Imp Catcher done. We get a massive boost of magic XP. And it's our current best in slot amulet. And we just one shot Delrith. And now that he's been banished to the Shadow Realm, that is going to be quest complete. I guess we don't get the screen or whatever. Oh, this is massive foreshadowing right here. The name of Gluff's new girlfriend, Anita. More like I need to finish all these quests. <laughs> ah yes, very challenging boss fight here. Once we finish the quest, watch the attack level, watch the agility level. Oh yes, look at all that XP we just got. We also unlocked a new form of transportation because this also unlocks the Gnome Glider transportation system, which does have its niche uses even later on in the game for like getting to certain clue steps. Time to become an alcoholic. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yo, we got the first piece of later hose in. Oh yeah, thigh highs. When are these sheeple gonna wake up and realize that the plague isn't real? Sorry, spoilers. We just finished Biohazard, and right as I finished it, my computer just restarted itself, so there's no dialogue or chat message or anything, but you can see we got it done. And there is the Restless Ghost quest done. We got from 5 to 12 prayer. Hey man, someone was saying some not so nice stuff about your mom. I figure while we're around Drainer Village, we should finish up a couple of these quests. So once we finish off Count Drainer here, that is going to be the end of Vampire Slayer. Get some attack XP, and I think we got a level now. Let's go do Ernest the Chicken since we're here too. Ernest the Chicken complete, we get like nothing pretty much. Yeah, let's just go do a bunch of free play quests. These will all be really fast to do. Pirate's Treasure complete. Wow, Dork, it's funny that you require these exact amount of resources because in a world full of quite literally limitless possibilities, a complete coincidence has occurred. Dork's quest complete. Goblin diplomacy is done and we should be getting a crafting level. Goblin diplomacy, more like goblin -dies. I think the best part about a new game mode is seeing all these unironic champions wandering around, including me, I'm definitely one of them. Yo, next piece of the, or next two pieces of the Mime outfit. We just got the top and the boots. Bro, how do you play rock, paper, scissors, and runescape? We literally don't have hands. They're just like stubs. Every time I actually pay attention to that and I look at the staff, I just think of that one episode of SpongeBob where Squidward goes jellyfishing. Below Ice Mountain is complete. We unlocked the Flex Emote and we also got access to the Ruins of Candozal, which has like the free-to-play budget mother mode mine pretty much. Okay, this is gonna be the end of the Black Knight's Fortress. There's a 2.5k GP reward, which is actually the reason why this quest has a quest point requirement. You need to have 12 quest points. Um, because when it first came out, people were like making multiple accounts to abuse that and get a bunch of GP. Because you know, back literally 20 years ago, 2.5k GP was a lot of money in 2001. Anyways, Black Knight's Fortress was a prereq for Recruitment Drive, and I think it was the last thing that we needed. And I think we started with the same guy, so we'll go ahead and do Recruitment Drive now. For this quest, we need to have nothing on us, and compared to UIM, this is so easy, dude. I don't have to like make a death pile or go die to Zora or whatever. Actually, yeah, you wouldn't even have Zora unlocked at this point anyways. Yo, it was good, girl. Don't tell Spook. In order to defeat the White Knight, your character has to be female. Yay, the quest is done. We got all this XP, and we now have access to Initiate Armor, which is prayer gear. Not as good as Proselyte, but I mean, it's something for now. Oh yeah, and we can make a respawn point Faldor now. 
Yeah, I think we'll do that. Yeah, so I just found the partner for Shield of Arav in the Shield of Arav uh, grouping clan chat thing. Very useful. I'm just kidding. Calm down. We're doing the quest together. Shield of Arav complete. While we're in Varrock, we're going to finish up with the Enter the Abyss mini quest. We got 1,000 RC XP, which puts us at level 9. I think the Abyssal book is one of the books you actually want to keep in your bank because I think if you have this in your bank, when you cast NPC Contact to repair your pouches, I think it saves like an extra chat dialogue or something. Then we're going to finish up with Prince Ali Rescue and we only have two more quests to go so let's go do Corsair Curse and probably not gonna do Maybe we will do Dragon Slayer, I don't know. Let's go do this quest though. Wait, but I want to do the feud quest because we're already here and the feud quest is going to unlock the rune shop. Let's go do the feud first. He may be a tough guy, but he's not a smart guy if he's not just going to walk around the chair. No, he just, des he had literally one HP left and he just despawned. Oh my god. Oh frick, I, w I wasn't looking and he despawned again. Well... You know what they say about the definition of insanity. In a game based around rolling dice, if you roll the dice enough, you will eventually get the numbers that you're looking for. <laughs> Their try was not a charm, apparently. Please. <laughs> Please. No, this either way, this is fine. This is great. We need some magic levels anyway. No, it wasn't fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. How is the timing just like so perfect every time? Is it like glitch? Am I not supposed to be doing this or something? Watch, he's about to despawn again when he's at like 1 HP. He's gonna do it right here. I just know it. Oh, please just hit him. <laughs> no, he, see when he walks away, he's gonna despawn. All right, you know what? We're gonna come back to this quest. I did try like tanking a hit from him to see if that would like reset the despawn timer, but Apparently that didn't work. We will come back to this quest before the end of the video though. Did I say this yet though? It might be in the title or something, but we are gonna go for the free to play quest cape today. So let's just go over the course right now and do that quest. See this right here? This is gonna be your secret weapon for later. We just got a genie lap for a very easy 20 herb lore. Corsair curse is done and we unlocked the, the bank. The bank in Corsair Cove. And this could actually be kind of useful because there are trader crew members here, so maybe it's not sold out at this spot. Um, oh, maybe it kind of is. <laughs> I was gonna say it might be a good spot to buy bucks of sand and soda ash, but maybe not. Okay, let's try the feud again. I realize we can't actually use fire bolt because we only have 33 magic, so we have to use earth bolt, but I think it should get the job done. I'm quickly trying to buy steel nails for Dragon Slayer because we need 90 of them, but it's really hard to find worlds that have some. Oh no, this poor person next to me using fire strike, if only they knew. No! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna use Fire Strike to kill these like random guards or Menophyte thugs around here so we can get 35 and then we'll use uh, Fire Bolt and then hopefully that'll do the trick. What the heck dude, why is this so challenging? Please, yes. <laughs> yes, we ran out of uh, Chaos Runes too, but we freaking did it. Well, this fight's going a lot faster. The really cool thing about this fight though is that he drops an Adamant Scimitar, so who even needs a Rune Simi? Psh, I'll just use this as our best in slot forever. The feed quest is done. I think we had 35 thieving and now we're at 40 thieving. Uh, and then we have to do a Sudoku puzzle to have access to his rune shop. Oh, and also something that I neglected to mention before is that this also unlocks blackjacking, which is going to be huge because at some point I'm probably going to end up uh, blackjacking to 91 thieving. I know a lot of people really can't stand blackjacking, but personally I don't mind it. Oh yeah, we have to do the Rogue's Trader mini quest as well, so we have to go to Varrock for that. And so the final quest for the free-to-play quest cape begins. Just gonna quickly grab some RNG from this guy though. Took a quick detour from doing Dragon Slayer to try opening this casket. Hopefully the Sudoku puzzle is filled in correctly. Clicks open. Nice, cool. Now if we go to buy non-elemental runes, the shop should open right up. And uh, we'll buy a few laws here. The nice thing about the shop is that no matter how many of the rune that you buy, the price always stays the same. And same thing for selling runes back to the shop. Price doesn't change. Oh, might need some cosmics too. Yeah, 50 laws should be good. This absolute Chad, this pure one defense is about to take on Elvarg. No, Cabin Boy Jenkins. Are you ready for the most epic fight of all time? It's taking so long to flinch her that we're actually getting an attack level here. 
<laughs> I'm so glad she doesn't despawn though, because if she did, this would not really be doable at this point in the account. Yes, there we go, Elvarg is down. We have defeated the dragon. Now we're just going to brutally rip her head off in this children's game. Here we go. This is going to be the end of the quest we are about to achieve the free to play quest cape. All the strength XP, I think we we're like 30 strength. We were one defense, now we're 33 defense. Uh, we can equip rune plate bodies, dragon plate bodies, and green dehyde bodies. We can go to Crandor, we can go to the Corsair Cove resource area. We are now combat level 43. A lot of people put off doing Dragon Slayer because I think once you do the quest, or maybe once you get to a certain point in the quest, you could start getting assigned dragons for Slayer, which wouldn't otherwise be possible. But I don't care about that because I, I just... I want to be a dragon slayer, okay? By the way, for anyone who's like newer to the game, there's not actually like a quest cape for getting all the free-to-play quests done. That's just what I like to call it. We have all the free-to-play quests done. It looks so nice. We're wrapping up day five with 88 quest points. We have 675 total level. And uh, it's fun, like going through all the quests and getting all the rewards and unlocking stuff, watching all the stats jump up from these massive XP rewards. And that's going to be all for today though. But next video, we will continue on the questing spree. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.